So here we've got a Fent 10T ideal drive. This is the Fent combine that does not have a steering wheel. It is all controlled with a joystick. And this project, I'm here with B&B Tractors and we're with Keith Challen on Beaver Farming Company Farms. He's combining wheat and on the front of that combine is a 40 foot gearing off header. There you can see the header in action. We've got some slow motion. So you can see the feeding onto the belts and then working their way on into the combine where that will get threshed. This combine is a little bit different. You may notice there's a sound in the background that you're not used to hearing with a combine. This has a seed control unit or a seed destroyer on the back and that spins around like a milling system with bars in and that fires any of the seeds such as black grass, rye grass or any volunteer crops that you don't want. It hits them against those bars which will either destroy the seed or the actual impact will make that seed non-viable. Just in cab now with Keith, and he's on the last one of the last two runs in this field. And there you can see the Gerwin Hoff header, 40 foot lowering down, and you can't hear the noise from the seat control unit from in the cab, so that's a good insulation inside these 10T ideals. And with the challenges on, on farming these days, we've got to look for alternative methods to try and deal with the burden, such as black grass. Uh, and this is one of the current inventions. And it's, this is one of the only fence, I think it's the only fence in this country that's got this unit fi fixed on the back. And it also has um, the chopper that's on there. That's unique to the system as well. And it very, very finely splits any of that actual stalk up. And it's the idea of that is it reduces the nitrogen needed to break that down in the soil. You can see the 40 foot gearing off header working and the belts feeding that crop into the center of the combine where it gets thrashed. You can hear the unit again working. It's just unloading now into the Fent tractor. Again, that is supplied by B&B tractors. And that's off to go to the corner of the field out of the way. Up oh, the header lifts and you'll see the flex on the header. You can see it bow when it first comes out and then it tightens up. That is so it can follow the contours of the field and makes it easier to get all the crop if it's laid. It can really work on, on that side really effectively on this style of draper header. You can see this combines on tracks at the front, which helps spread the load as well as stabilizing the header and keeping the width of the combine narrow. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you on the next video.